Hello friends, welcome in Research Needs. In this video, we will see the phases of stress cycle, how they are differ from the human reproductive cycles and how vaginal smear help us identify these stages in lab animals. So here you can see we are collecting the female rats vaginal smear. This is the procedure. In the micro pipette, we have taken normal saline that we are adding inside the vagina and washing the vagina through normal saline using micro pipette. So, we are collecting this smear on the slides these slides already numbered and the as per the numbering of the animals we have numbered the slides on that slides we are collecting their smear on one slides we are taking three animals smear so this is how we can collect the female rats vaginal smear now next we will see what is estrus cycle estrus cycle is a reproductive cycle in most female mammals divided in four distinct phase the the first phase is proestrus phase then estrus phase metastrus and diastrus phase now we will see detail about every phases so proestrus phase is it is the transition period characterized by the rising estrogen level and preparation for ovulation next is estrus the period of sexual receptivity and peak estrogen level where the female is receptive to mating next is metastrus Following ovulation, the corpus luteum forms and produces progesterone. So earlier two phases, proestrus and estrus phase, it has estrogen level high. In next two phases, means metastrus in diastrus, the progesterone level is high. So lastly, we will see diastrus phase. In the, it is characterized by high progesterone level maintaining the uterine lining in preparation for potential pregnancy. So this is how you can differentiate the estrus cycle all fa four phases. Now we will see difference between human females and uh, estrus cycle in other mammals. Humans are unique among the mammals in that they engage in sexual activity throughout the ovulatory cycle rather than having a discrete estrus phase. In most mammals, the estrus cycle is marked by a clear period of estrus, a heat phase with associated physical changes and behavioral changes that signal receptivity to mating. In human females, on the other hand, experience a more continuous cycle of sexual desire and behavior with peaks and valleys influenced by hormone levels. The absence of clear stress phase in human is thought to be linked to the evolution of extended sexuality and pair bonding in humans. Now we will see how we can differentiate the four phases using vaginal sphere. Vaginal sphere provide a visual way to differentiate the phase of the estrus cycle primarily by observing the types of and proportion of cells present. So Prostrus shows mostly nucleated epithelial cells 
estrus is dominated by unnucleated and cornified cells and mestrus features a mix of cornified cells and leukocytes and diastrus is characterized by predominance of leukocytes so these are the type of cells so now in this picture you can see it is right now it is showing diastrus phase it's a diastrus phase in image now on the screen you can see prostrus phase so here it has included nucleated cells with cornified cells so generally uh, starting it is a preparation phase for the stress phase so it is mixed and in transition phase it is showing so that is why it is showing both nucleated and cornified so it is in stage of transition from prostrus to stress phase it is completely in stress phase you can see it is completely cornified cells it has next it is showing mat stress phase so it mat stress phase you can see here the cornified it little bit mix with leukocytes it is a mat stress phase mixed of cells still it is showing mat stress phase in diastrus phase only you can see here you can see it is a cornified cells it is a stress phase in diastrus phase only leukocytes you will see here it is cornified it is a stress phase in this image heat phase now on screen it is showing mat stress phase you can see the cornified cells and leukocyte are mixed so it is a mat stress phase this is how you can identify the phases